It turns out our friend is absolutely correct. When you press enter, you will get an error and it will tell you that you can't multiply a sequence. A string is in general a sequence. You cannot multiply a sequence by a non-int of type float. Now this is an interesting error message. It says you can't multiply it with a non-int. So immediately our friend wants to know, wait a minute, could you multiply a string with an int? It turns out you can. Now, just as an experiment, our friend has tried multiplying two times temp in Celsius. Remember, temp in Celsius is the string minus 40. Our friend was absolutely correct about that. And multiplying that string by 2 results in this string minus 40 minus 40. One way to think about this is multiplying by 2 is like adding the value to itself. And we know that addition of strings is concatenation, it's gluing them together. So taking temp in Celsius plus temp in Celsius will just glue the two minus 40s together and that is why 2 times temp in Celsius is minus 40. So you can multiply strings with integers but not with floats and that is the error. Now there is a very small technical mistake in what our friend said but we are going to let this go and I'll just point out what that error is. Our friend said that temp in Celsius, the variable, is of type str. Remember that technically variables don't have a type. The objects they are assigned to have a type. So this object is of type str but temp in Celsius is not really of type str. It's just a variable and variables don't have types. But remember you will hear many programmers speak in this approximate way. Technically it's not correct, but if you understand the technical details, you can understand what your colleagues are saying and you will also find yourself speaking in this shorthand.